Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Today we uh, want to talk about the modification of the driver board for the ICOM IC7000. So we know that uh, the board is uh, burning out very easily and uh, the internet is uh, full of reports that uh, this is uh, happening uh, very often. Um, well, I do not have an official modification for this problem, so um, we do not really know what um, is the reason causing this uh, problem, but uh, there are some information information that uh, it might come from um, intermittent uh, self-oscillation. Well, of course, um, we do not have a bulletin from ICOM telling um, what this uh, self-destruction is uh, coming from. We uh, do have uh, the new boards getting delivered when uh, you are ordering it right now. And what we uh, can find on uh, this board is uh, this modification down here. So there is an additional resistor placed uh, into the uh, input. So this jack down here is uh, the input jack and uh, we have this little resistor in place and um, you know this resistor is a hint that um, the stories which are on um, on uh, the internet are right that uh, we have a kind of uh, self oscillation problem which is uh, finally destroying uh, the uh, driver stage and this resistor um, is simply reducing the Q of uh, an oscillator, if this would be an oscillator. So this is reducing the Q and that means that uh, this will prevent this stage from oscillating. So again, we do not have uh, a clear information, so this is uh, all um, a kind of guess, but uh, you know, this all is uh, on the other hand a clear indication for uh, what uh, is uh, going on. And uh, well, again, when we are here now focusing on uh, this original board, so this uh, is an old one and uh, um, the uh, driver transistor uh, is um, faulty and uh, it is of course uh, off. But uh, yeah, when we, now let me try to bring it a little bit better here into uh, view. So what we uh, can see is, whoops, that uh, there is no resistor so this is the input connector and uh, it directly goes uh, into um, the uh, MOSFET transistor which is um, normally here uh, in place. So yeah there is no um, resistor and uh, well just following what uh, ICOM uh, is doing themselves um, we should simply add here a resistor and therefore we need of course um, cut this trace here and uh, then we uh, can uh, simply yeah, populate you know then the little resistor and uh, then um, we have exactly the same modification on uh, this boards done to uh, prevent this 
um, transistors from failing. So that is what we want to do uh, today. So therefore, uh, first of all, we uh, should remove this uh, connector that uh, we can then uh, professionally cutting this uh, trace and then uh, populate a resistor here to the uh, board and uh, then uh, yeah we we are uh, simply able to have uh, a nice uh, board which is uh, at least exactly what uh, ICOM is uh, doing or exactly how ICOM is handling this problem. So um, I believe this is then really a good idea, idea to follow what um, ICOM is uh, doing here. Okay, so um, the connector is uh, out and uh, we are now able to uh, prepare our cut here that uh, this trace here is uh, completely um, interrupted and uh, then we are uh, able to uh, populate uh, a resistor uh, over here. Okay, so this will be uh, the situation uh, on the board. So I have already uh, put um, here uh, some cut line on the board so that is how uh, we have to cut uh, this uh, trace um, this here is yeah this is a the faulty one the faulty uh, MOSFET and uh, this here is the little um, resistor which will uh, come here into place yeah, unfortunately, um, you know, this uh, trace is a little bit uh, too small and um, yeah, we have here a kind of nose which uh, we have to cut uh, away as well a little, little bit. But uh, anyways, with uh, the new transistor in place, which will look like this, we will then have this little resistor exactly down there and maybe uh, we need uh, to place this resistor a little bit like uh, this uh, to, to get as most as possible from the trace but uh, that is something we gonna check when um, yeah first of all we have done the cut and secondly when the connector is back on uh, the PCB then we will see how um, it will be best to mount this uh, SMD resistor but yeah something like uh, this it uh, will uh, gonna happen and uh, yeah so let's uh, first of all let us uh, cut uh, the trace right now and then we can go ahead okay so what you can see is that uh, I have cut the board and uh, yeah we can then place uh, the resistor like uh, this and uh, yeah then we have exactly what uh, icon did on this modification okay but uh, first of all we have now to replace our our mosfet uh, transistor and uh, then after that we can uh, populate our uh, resistor because otherwise we would uh, simply blow this resistor from the board when we are soldering uh, the MOSFET with uh, hot air. So, yeah, I uh, will leave it uh, off and uh, additional to that, I will uh, take this resistor off as well and then we will um, first uh, of all populate back this uh, MOSFET transistor. 
Okay, so that is how it looks like after the modification. So you can see here is the additional resistor and you can here barely see where I uh, cut the trays and uh, yeah, all components are back in place and of course uh, the new MOSFET as well. So this should now um, be a yeah, complete working new driver board with modification. Well, and of course we all are interested if this modification and of course the replacement of the um, NFET transistor was successful and uh, we all are interested if this is really a fully working board and therefore I have connected here my component tester and yeah it is already connected as you can see so let's uh, start analyzing and yeah wonderful so it is an uh, he uh, the uh, component tester is reporting an enhancement mode and channel MOSFET and uh, yeah all um, the leads are identified and gate threshold voltage and test current so yeah everything is working and uh, the little uh, component tester is telling us that this um, MOSFET is working fine so that is a proof that uh, our modification and of course this uh, replacement um, was successful so therefore yeah this is finally the um, it is it is a procedure how you can modify this board to prevent the driver PCB from failing and from burning out and uh, well, um, I'm at the end of this little video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. And uh, if it is of any value for you, please give me a big thumb up for this video. And yeah, catch you next time. Bye.